this is the prize that's going to be given to someone who buys the corporate citizen playbook or the YouTube course. I will let you know who wins this the 1st of July. Alrighty, so let's just talk about how you can get into the course. The corporate citizen playbook, power book, you can do a one and done or you can get on the payment plan. How to make a lot of money from a small YouTube channel. You can do a one and done and get on the payment plan. I'm about to explain to you why you want the corporate citizen playbook power book. Number one, you will get the YouTube course as well, and you will get any and everything else that I create in the year 2023. So if I write a book, I create any more courses, which I guarantee you there's more coming, you will get all of that. And also the way that this is set up, the corporate citizen playbook power book it's set up to teach you how to build a holding company, how to have operating companies, how to set up your corporate banking, how to set up your first operating company, and how to start getting on the path of business credit. Now, one of the things is, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, are you gonna take these courses and next month you're gonna be making 20, $30,000 per month? No, it's not gonna happen. But let's go a little further ahead and let's say, this time next year, you get in, you're going to learn so much that you could be one of the people making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per month. I will have people who will do that. And then some people, it'll take a little longer. But I want you to start thinking in the greater scheme of your life. I want you to start thinking about not just today, but tomorrow and the year after and the year after and the year after. Because I have a very important video that's coming up after this commercial that's going to be getting into the deepness of building businesses, making money, and you want to be part of it. So once again, the YouTube channel, you can do the one payment or you can do the payment plan, the corporate citizen uh, playbook power book. You could do the one and done and the payment plan. And this is how you can get in and the access to these courses will be in the description box and in the first comment. And once again, you need to go ahead and get in because the sooner that you start is the sooner that you'll start realizing your dreams and ambitions. So that's all I got for you. So let's roll into this next wonderful video. All right, real brief tomorrow at 5 PM, I am going to do a webinar to answer your questions about the corporate citizen playbook to answer your questions about the YouTube training to answer your questions about my hacked website. Uh, literally, there's times I can't even get in. It's so bad. So uh, this is tomorrow, uh, July, June, not July, sorry, June 11th, 5 p.m. The link is below for you to be there, and this will kick off probably a little early. So be there at 5. I will see you guys in this video that's about to drop. I was reading an article the other day talking about the number of people using chat GPT was not as many people as you would suspect. And if you will go back to the beginning of the year, everyone that was making chat GPT YouTube videos, mid journey YouTube videos, how to use artificial intelligent videos, they got massive, massive views, massive, massive views. And here it is mere months. And I saw not one, not two, but several videos talking about the financial results of using artificial intelligence. <clears throat> I saw one video where the guy went ahead and said that his Etsy store after three months has literally crashed. I saw another video where this guy was doing all of these prompts and designs to um, go ahead and set up a certain thing. He made $10 in seven days, 10 bucks in seven days. And what I'm beginning to see is that easy path to a lot of money
from the advent of chat GPT from mid journey. It's literally falling apart at the seams. And I'm going to explain to you why it's falling apart at the seams. Many of the people who do the, the, the reviews, let's go ahead and call it reporting. They, they're reporting. And when they go out and do this reporting, and they're not actually doing the work. Like one of the things I've seen is a multitude of people have put out videos talking about the various mo business models you can create with ChatGPT, MidJourney, and all this other stuff. The people who are reporting, the reporters, they're not technicians. They're not doing the work. They haven't set up. And some of these people, their videos get three, four, five hundred, seven hundred thousand views. They're they're like channel 13, the news reporting. Well, today in the city of Atlanta, we, I mean, they're, they're just reporting. And what we're seeing is literally the ease of using artificial intelligence to create monumental income streams is literally falling apart. And once again, I'll, I'll go back to why it's falling apart. I saw one guy use ChatGPT to create a poetry writing service. I saw another guy use ChatGPT to create wedding prompts. Now, I had a friend who used to be a wedding planner. There's a lot that goes into a wedding. And for me personally, I feel it is best to hire a wedding planner than to try to do all this stuff yourself because you drive yourself crazy. That's just my opinion. And this is the person who uh, did it and he made $10 in seven days. Okay, let me go ahead and explain something to you. I came up with a hustle to sell king and queen size beds. My first week, I made $600 advertising on Craigslist. My second week, I made $1,000. My third week, I made $1,200. My fourth week, I made $1,600. So I was making livable income from the first month of my selling program, 600, 1,000, 1,200, 1,600. 1,600 and 1,200 is 2,800, plus the 1,000 is 3,800, plus the 600, it's 4,400 bucks. I made that my first month. So once again, and I'll, I'll explain to you what was involved. I, number one, I had to go to the warehouse, I had to buy the beds, I had a van, already had a van. I had to buy the beds, deliver the beds, take the beds inside. I had to do physical work. I had to do physical work. Not terribly hard physical work. Not terribly hard. But I had to do physical work. But my first month, I made $4,400. And I am literally watching these guys using artificial intelligence they're not even making a thousand bucks after three or four months. What's the big draw to artificial intelligence? You can be brain dumb and you can do this simple task and you can make a lot of money. Once again, um, it ain't happening, man. That's just not happening because once again, number one, artificial intelligence is an extremely powerful tool. It is. However, artificial intelligence doesn't remove 
that you must come up with a compelling offer. You must have a good plan. You must execute. Artificial intelligence doesn't remove any of those factors. And many people feel because it's artificial intelligence, it's ChatGPT, it's Midjourney, it's Leonardo, it's Copy AI, that we can do all of these wonderful. And once again, I just upgraded um, my Midjourney to the 30 bucks a month because I've been using my Midjourney quite a bit to make thumbnails. And you know, let's talk about that. The mid journey that I'm currently using June, 2023, I feel that mid journey in December is going to be way better. Um, I, I have a lot of problems like I'll give you an example. I wanted to create a prompt of a big black ball crushing people. Mid journey won't do that. Anything that looks like violence or you want to use race, or you, it, it, it will go, it, it will spit it back. It's like, we can't do that. So mid journey is deeply, deeply restricted at the moment. What I understand about the marketplace is the marketplace gets what it wants. So at some point in the future, a lot of these restrictions are going to come off, but mid journey is very, very restricted at the moment. Chat GPT, I figured out a way to get much longer prompts with ChatGPT because I'm using ChatGPT. And here's the thing, guys. AI is extremely profitable, but AI does not trump the human initiative to come up with a thorough and a good game plan to facilitate business. AI doesn't do that. AI can come up with all kinds of prompts. It can come out with all kinds of items. AI can pass the bar. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want you to understand this. Why can't artificial intelligence, why can't ChatGPT pass the bar? ChatGPT has all the information from the internet up to 2021. I want you to imagine if someone was able to take Google, take Google and stuff it in your brain. That's what chat GPT is. It has all that information in there. It has all those facts. It has all these data, but it doesn't think it can do machine learning. It can come up with different prompts, but chat GPT does not think. And once again, I've like, I've been watching these videos and this is one of the reasons that, uh, I was going to start a channel talking about artificial intelligence. And then I started to notice that a lot of the channels that came out with artificial intelligence, talking about how to use artificial intelligence, they started running into some problems because one of the things is none of these channels are getting the views that they used to get. And looking at it from the article in Google, and this is what chat GPT said, not as many people as you would assume are using chat GPT because once you get past the curiosity factor, once you get past the playing around with it, using it to do certain things, if there's no money at the end of the rainbow, the leprechauns just go away. And that's one of the things I'm consistently seeing because uh, this is one of the reasons that um, I pulled away from the artificial intelligence because at the end of the day, guess who's going to be using artificial intelligence? Us nerds. Once the hype, once the wave passes over, and like, there's so many people on mid journey. I think uh, one of the people who did the video talking about his Etsy store was crashing. I'm gonna tell you why his Etsy store is crashing. All those videos he put up getting people to go to Etsy. Etsy is being swamped by people creating 
art using artificial intelligence and just throwing it on there. Um, I was watching a guy and he does books and he posts books on the Amazon. And this guy did a review and he found a book that someone was using artificial intelligence and the book is selling. But he started to compare the books that were created by the artificial intelligence and he was starting to compare the books because essentially it was these coloring books and to have someone do an outline that can be colored. I think he was talking about $30 per outline. So you're talking about a 10 page coloring book that's 300 bucks. You're talking about a hundred page coloring book. That's $3,000 to have them appropriately done unless you yourself have the skill sets to create these coloring books. And this coloring book that was created by AI was getting a bunch of bad reviews. Because, you know, and I was just seeing this, see the simplicity of artificial intelligence doesn't mean you can be a dummy and make money. And I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to say the reality of the situation because I have come up with concepts, money making concepts, right? That I just sat down and I was like, and I asked myself a simple question. What does the marketplace need? And what can I get that the marketplace needs? Many of the people who are doing this stuff with artificial intelligence, they're not asking that question. That question is so far, because it's like, it's AI, it's powerful, it can create all this, it can do this stuff. I'm, I'm gonna say something. And I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say someone knocked on your door, right? Let's say a very attractive woman knocked on your door. Hi, I am selling mud pies. What's going to be your answer? Your answer is more than likely going to be no, no, thank you. And you're just going to shut the door on it. This is what people are doing. People are creating mud pies and they're trying to sell them to the marketplace. And the marketplace doesn't want mud pies. Because this is one of the things, because once again, uh, stay with mid journey. Stay with ChatGPT. I would say invest because uh, one of the things that happened because I had to go from my $10 plan up to my $30 plan because I ran out of the fast computer. Because see, uh, MidJourney is getting really, really smart. It's like we got all these people over here who want to create these fast prompts. We're going to start hitting them over the head. We're gonna, 10 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month, 60 bucks a month. And if you, like me, it makes sense for me because, like, let me explain something to you. Um, I have a company that does my more involved thumbnails, and their prices just went up. So typically, I would buy the larger package, and it was like $1,200 for 65 thumbnails. And I think that's, I don't have my, uh, my phone on me. But three thumbnails are $90, or $90. So I am getting more creative, more prolific. And once again, this is, some, this is a skill set that I am developing. I am developing it. So uh, I am using MidJourney, and let's see, I used MidJourney, and it was 10 bucks, and I created a bunch of thumbnails for YouTube. I created 30 thumbnails using MidJourney. So for me, having a valid need in learning how to make these thumbnails and create these thumbnails and create these concepts, because I can tell you, it's just gonna get better and better. Um, it's well worth it. 30 bucks a month? If I go a whole year, which is $360, that is one fourth of what it costs for me to have my thumbnails professionally created. So, you know, for me, 
to pay Midjourney to use Midjourney to make YouTube thumbnails. Yeah, that's that's a big win for me because uh, at one point it was seven fifty because it it goes up every so often uh, how much the, these things cost. So I have a valid use for Midjourney. I have a valid use for ChatGPT because these things because like Midjourney using Midjourney to make thumbnails is saving me a lot of money that I was already in the habit of spending. It was, you know, like I would just go ahead and order a bunch of thumbnails and add multiple channels and stuff like that. For me, it made a lot of sense to learn how to use Midjourney <clears throat> to make thumbnails. It made a lot of sense. And it's been working out quite nice. The thumbnail <clears throat> that's made for this was I use Midjourney. So Midjourney is working out for me in that regard and ChatGPT, I'm still working on it and I've went ahead and I've like <clears throat> at the moment, as of today, I'm paying 30 bucks per month for Midjourney and I'm paying 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT because once again, I didn't approach this that this is so simple and easy and anyone can do it. That was not my approach to this. It was like, this is some new technology. There's gonna be a learning curve. I'm gonna use these things. I'm gonna devote myself to them. And we'll see what I can pull out the other side. Cause like, once again, the chat GPT, the mid journey, the artificial intelligence that we have access to now, it's just gonna get better and better and better. But for people without a real business need, for people who just don't have an appropriate paradigm or paragraph for chat GPT, for mid journey, it's just playtime. You know, these tools, are just gonna, they're just gonna be playing around with it and they're not gonna be do, using these tools to make any money. And this is what I'm seeing because like I said, the YouTubers, the TikTokers, the bloggers all talked about the power of AI and how it was going. And this is something else too. I don't think artificial intelligence is gonna put a bunch of people who have skilled jobs out of work. Will it put people out of work who are doing low level, low intellect stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, it's not going to touch anyone that's doing any high level, high thinking type skills. It's just not. And one of the things that has to uh, happen is people have to really understand the paradigm between money creation I'm thinking I'm getting ready to start something called Hustle AM or Morning AM or something like that. And I'm going to release these videos out really early in the morning because there are so many people who do not understand the concept of money and creating money and creating a business that makes money. They don't understand that. And this is one of the things because, um, there's a lot of people who are making YouTube money by putting up these videos. Some of these videos are getting twenty, thirty thousand dollars a video. They're making a lot of YouTube money, but the information that they're putting out in these videos, if you were to go to this video, you were to sit at the video, and then you would go out and try to do these things, you would be lucky to make a hundred bucks per month. So this whole fantasy, and it's, it's very much a fantasy because I can look back and I have the experience of being an entrepreneur and being in business. I can look back at things that I have done, things that I have put out, um, things that I have really, really worked on. And I can like, this was successful. This wasn't that successful. Well, this was really successful. 
Because that Louis Philippe bed thing worked for about three years until I started having to do battle with uh, container buyers. And container buyers, they were, they were able to sell these beds for maybe 50 bucks more than my cost of selling these beds until I became a container buyer. And that right there, I'll talk about that in another video because that, that's just a wild mess. But one of the things you have to understand is the concept of making money, creating money, and creating this new paradigm. This is one of the things that you have to understand. This is one of the things that you have to be aware of. This is one of the things that you have to be um, conscious of. And we're going to start talking about that. But yeah, the simplicity of using artificial intelligence to make all of this money, it ain't really working out. It's just not working out like people had planned. Not even close to it. It's kind of funny. All right. So I got a webinar tomorrow at 5 p.m. talking about the training and the stuff that I'm doing. Because I know a lot of people have questions because people have been hitting me up with questions. And, you know, I'm going to do the webinar. Then I'm going to link up the webinar to the email list and let everyone know what I'm doing. So that's going on tomorrow at 5 p.m. So be there if you want to know more about the corporate training that I'm getting ready to do.